so today's video is incorporating a few plummy kind of purpley tones. I think my shirt definitely was what inspired me to do this look and I busted out the Laura Mercier eyeshadow palette that I've had for quite some time and I'm really surprised that I have not used this in such a long time because it's really, really pretty. I love the way this came out. So if you want to see exactly how to do it, then keep watching. All right, guys. So to start this look off, I'm going to start with the face. And I'm going to use the Clinique Moisture Surge Gel Cream. And this is just the travel size. It does come in like a little tub. And I'm going to use that as my primer just to add a little boost of hydration and a little bit more moisture to my skin so that it doesn't look dry or anything like that because liquid foundations tend to cling to any sort of dryness so to kind of prevent that I use a little bit of extra moisturizer before foundation and the foundation that I'm using today is my Clinique even better with SPF 15. I wear it in the shade linen and I'm using a damp beauty sponge to apply that. I'm just sort of balancing the sponge around and I'm using the rounded side of the sponge to blend my foundation in. And at this point, I think everybody has heard why you need to have a beauty blender. So I'm not going to go into it, but I think it's an absolute necessary tool. Out of all the sponges that I've tried, I've always come back to the beauty blender because there's really nothing quite like it out there. There's definitely some good options and dupes, but this is the, the absolute best. And I think it just makes the foundation look so, so good on the skin. Then, because I was feeling a little extra that day, I wanted to use a little bit of mineral makeup. And this is the Bare Minerals in the original formula in the shade Fairly Light. And I'm using an Equal Tools brush to sort of buff this into the skin. And that's the only and proper way, really, I wouldn't say the only way, but the proper way to use the minerals. And I have a video dedicated solely on minerals and why they're so good and how to actually really use the minerals and get the most out of it. So I just wanted a little extra coverage. So I went directly over my foundation with the Mineral Loose Powder from Bare Minerals. And then for a little bit of extra coverage, I'm going to use the same mineral foundation under the eyes. And believe it or not, this makes for a really great concealer. I've been doing this for several weeks now, just using this as my only concealer. And it covers, it doesn't look cakey. It doesn't feel like a heavy powder on that thin skin under the eyes. I'm like blown away by these minerals. I'm telling you guys, I use them every single day because I just can't get enough of them. So I'm just using the same foundation to give me a little bit more coverage under the eyes. And then... I'm going to start bronzing and I'm using this contour palette from Tarte and it is still available on their website. I got this about a year ago almost and I have been reaching for it quite a bit lately honestly. It's really good. The quality is really great of course as we all know from Tarte but I'm using the lightest of the two darker shades in the palette to kind of bronze up my skin and I'm also skipping blush today believe it or not. I've been using more of a bronzy kind of color for my blush as well and I have been loving the results. It gives me a really nice kind of sun-kissed sort of glow and look to the skin, especially now that we're in spring and heading into summer soon. So I just thought it would be nice to kind of skip blush and um, this Tarte palette is definitely something that's worth the money. And of course, this look would not be complete without some serious highlight. And this is the Tarte Skin Twinkle Palette, which is still available. They did come out with a new one, by the way. It's volume two. And I absolutely love this. I've rediscovered this recently and I can't put it down. Like it is just absolutely incredible. I'm using the fan brush from Equal Tools, which is again, worth every single penny. It's such a great quality brush. If you want dewy, glowy skin and you know, from a brand that offers good formulas with good ingredients, definitely check out this palette from Tarte. I'll list it down below in the description box. All right, so we're moving on to the eyes. I'm going to take the Scandalize um, eyeshadow pencil from Rimmel. This is in the shade Bluffing, which is the one that I use the most. I've done like one shadow look for this and I love it. So I'm going to use this uh, cream shadow stick as a base. I don't do this often, but um, it does definitely intensify the finish and the color of whatever you put on top of it. So I'm using that first and then I'm going to go in with the color called Fresco, which is a very soft kind of muted... Um, mauve tone um, from the Laura Mercier palette. It does have a bit of a rosy kind of vibe as you can see on, on the screen here. It does have some kind of pinky vibes to it and I'm using a Sigma E25 brush to apply this in my crease. And what I'm doing is just sort of adding a little bit as I go and I'm following the natural shape of my eye. I'm not doing any sort of specific shape with the um, eyeshadow. So I'm just going to continue layering and adding more product as I go and blending so the key here is just adding a little bit at a time and sort of working it into the skin and blending really well. And I love the Sigma E25 for applying colors into the crease. 
And then the next step after I have that crease built up, I'm going to be using the shade called Vanilla Nuts, which is a matte linen kind of ivory shade. It matches my skin tone and I'm going to use that to go around the fresco color and I'm going to use that to clean up any edges, any sort of mistakes that I have. And that's a tip that I wanted to pass along to you guys in this video. And then of course for the lower lash line, what I'm doing is just taking that fresco color that's in the crease and I'm going to swing down below and add it to the lower lash line. And this is a pencil brush. This is a very old, old pencil brush from Smashbox. But really any pencil brush would do. Any detail brush would work as well and sort of just basically adding what we have in the crease, bringing that down to the lower lash line so that everything looks very seamless and you know the whole eye is very connected. And I'm making sure that the outer V connects down into the lower lash line as well. Then I'm going to take this shade called African Violet. It's a beautiful, beautiful color, you guys. It's a beautiful purple shade. It's like a lavender, but it has a very intense shimmery gold finish to it. And it's absolutely incredible, especially over a shimmery base that is um, very complementary to that color, like the Remmel eyeshadow stick that I used. That definitely does elevate the finish and the look of it. So I'm using a Sigma, actually no, not Sigma, Sonia Kashuk <laughs> eyeshadow brush that I got at Target to really pack that over the base and it's just going to, again, make the color more intense. It's going to make it pop because of that beautiful finish. You guys, the camera does not do that color justice at all. It's so, so beautiful and I don't use a lot of purple shadows every day, but that has a beautiful golden finish to it and it's just different and unique. Then I'm going to go in with the shade called Kurt Royal and it's a deeper purple shade. It has a bit of a sheen to it, but it doesn't come off shimmery, so that's why I kind of used it in the crease area. And I'm gonna focus this color primarily on the outer V of the eye, adding the most to the outer V, and then whatever's left on my brush, sort of blending it into the crease so that it looks very seamless, and I'm making sure that I get really close to the lash line as well on the outer corner just to kind of deepen this up and you can definitely add a lot more based on your personal preference. You can even, if you have this palette, use the shade Violet Ink which is a very matte, deep, deep purple shade that would be absolutely beautiful and that would give a lot of smokiness and a lot of depth to this look but I love the Kerr Royal color so that's what I chose for this look. And then again using the same pencil brush and adding that same Kerr Royal color down to the lower lash line so that again whatever's on the upper lashes and crease comes down to the lower lash line. And then I'm going to again take a clean brush and some of that vanilla nuts color or any color that matches your skin tone. I'm going to clean around the edges to make sure everything is blended. And then I use Sparkling Dew in the inner corner but I didn't press record on my camera so my bad but that's my inner corner highlight and of course right now moving on to the liner I'm tight lining with a black eyeliner pencil and then going in with a liquid liner. This is um, the Lancome Grandiose. This is the one that has that bendable cap. And it's a black, very intense black. I think it's the shade is called Noir. And it's a beautiful liner and it works. And it's just so seamless and easy to apply. So I did a little bit, slightly thicker line. But again, feel free to do your liner whichever way you want or skip it all entirely. And then of course I have to use mascara. My favorite mascara for the last several months has been the Tarte Tardis mascara. I just purchased a new one yesterday because I absolutely love it and I needed a backup so this definitely gives me a lot of length volume separation and thickness to the lashes so it's all around a really great option then for the lips I'm going to use this um, Tardis lip paint in the shade rosé and this came from my ipsy um, glam bag from March but it is a long wear lip color that is matte and I've never tried that range from Tarte before and I have to say I'm really surprised and it's comfortable it went on very well and I really like the formula. So far, so good. And then to kind of make it a little bit more nude, I'm using a lip butter from Flower Beauty that's available at Walmart in the shade Naked Petal. And that's going to sort of tone down a little bit of that peachy kind of vibe that I'm getting from that long wear lip color. And it's going to add a little bit more of a nude. All right, guys. So that completes this look. I actually really love the way this came out. Um, it's I think I say this every time I do a tutorial because when I sit down to do tutorials, I actually want to do something with some eyeshadows because day to day, I kind of get stuck with doing the same looks, wearing nothing at all or nothing around the eyes. And when I sit down to do my makeup for the tutorials for you guys to watch, it just kind of inspires me to do my makeup and wear eyeshadows more often because <laughs> I kind of fell off that bandwagon a little bit. And I'm really glad that I busted this Laura Mercier palette out. I wanted to do something 
kind of purpley. I suppose my shirt, which is one of my favorite t-shirts, this is the, I think this is the Massimo ones from Target, best t-shirts ever. Um, but I think that the color sort of inspired me to do something with purples. I, I love how purples look against brown eyes. It just makes the eyes just stand out so much more. And I forgot how good this palette is and how easy it is to work with these eyeshadows. I remember I got this when I moved to Georgia for a few months. And I'm just really impressed with this. But this is, this Laura Mercier palette definitely is. If you love purple tones um, or, you know, like the plummy sort of tones and the soft, light, very sort of feminine type of pink um, that I think is very wearable and very flattering for pretty much anyone, then this is definitely something that would be worth an investment. Um, that lip product, the Tarte, this is the Tartist lip paint. This was a little sample that came in Ipsy, I believe, in my March. I think it was my March bag. It's in the shade Rosé, and this is the first time that I've ever tried the matte. I like the glossy um, lip glosses from the Tartist line. I love those, but I love the applicator on this. It has sort of like cut so that it just hugs your lips so well, and it just applies the formula so nicely. I did apply something else over it because the color was just, I don't know, to me it just seemed a little bit, I don't know, I was picking up a peachy kind of vibe and I wanted to tone it down, so I, I mixed it with something else, but really am enjoying that, and like I said, the applicator is really great on that for application. So anyways, enough rambling. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think of the look. Also, if you have any recommendations, any sort of videos that you'd like to see from me, let me know. If you want me to do anything specific, I'd be more than happy to do those videos for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for spending some of your day here with me today. Thank you so much for being you, and I will talk to you very soon.